What's up everyone? It's been a little while since I've done tutorials on my channel and I figured it's about time to do some more because now that I have kids, I figured they can help me teach the beginning tutorials and show that even if you're a kid, you can do parkour. So today we have with us Finley and Jack. They're going to help me out today. So today we're going to be starting with the basics, the safety vault. We're going to learn some progressions into doing it and also some variations to make it more cool or more challenging. But first, we got to find something to vault over. What should we vault over? Maybe that table. Okay, we can start with that table. That'll be a little big for you guys. So real quickly, I wanted to thank Optimally Organic for sponsoring this video and for sending me their fulvic ionic minerals as well as their raw earth immune response. You can find out more about these at the end of the video or check out the link in the description below. Right, so Finley's gonna demonstrate the safety vault first. So to go through the basic movements, this table's a little bit big for learning the safety vault, but you can still walk through the basic motions. So first she's gonna step her left foot up onto it and then she's gonna plant her right hand the opposite of the foot she has on the table and then the foot that's down low is she's gonna jump and step that leg through and try and push herself all the way over that was a good jump nice one all right so plant your left foot and your right hand just plant that hand and then you're gonna lift up your right foot and bring it through the middle yep there you go and step over step across yep and step down good job the basic setup for the safety vault. We're gonna find a slightly smaller obstacle for them to do it on. Nice one with the 180. Good job. Woo. Yeah, nice. So Jet's doing our double safety variation, which is where you start in the safety vault and then you plant your other foot so you can do a two foot jump off of the safety vault. Nice job. Yeah. Okay, ready? Woo, nice one. And like with any vault, if you're not comfortable doing it on something bigger, just find something smaller, like this curb. And step through. Whew. Our next variation of the safety vault is simply to add distance to it. You're gonna jump from farther away. Now when doing it this way, you wanna lead with your foot a little bit more since your leg is stronger. You can absorb some of that impact when you're doing the landing onto it and then planting your hand down to allow yourself to jump through on the safety vault. We also have the safety vault 180, which is what Finley demonstrated earlier. It's actually almost harder to keep your body straight than to do the 180. So be sure to practice both variations, staying straight and doing the 180 turn. And another cool variation of the 180 is to actually land on the leg you're kicking through. And then we have the safety vault 360. So just like the 180, you're gonna push off that jumping leg and do a turn but you wanna jump high enough away from the safety vault that you can get a full 360 spin in. So just think of it like you're doing the 180. Oh, good job, Finn. That was like the 360. You tried to do the 180, but you did the 360. Ooh, nice one. All right, our last safety vault variation of the day is when you need to drop down from something high, you can actually use the safety vault as a transition from standing on something high and dropping down in a cool way. So we're gonna use this green box here to demonstrate that. Hey Finley, you have any tips on the safety vault? Mm, maybe I got some safety tips. So you gotta make sure you got some speed. If you want to do a, a whole spin. And also, you gotta try and land on your feet. If you can't let you land on your feet, probably do the ninja roll. Oh yeah, we did a tutorial on the ninja roll before. Go check it out. Yeah. All right, thanks everyone for watching our safety vault tutorial and variations. Be safe out there learning them yourself. And uh, as I was thinking about making this video, I'm like, should I make this more directed towards kids or like a general audience? And I realized in parkour, at any parkour jam or gym you go to, there's always gonna be a wide diversity of ages. Today I'm just giving it to everybody. This is for anyone to watch this, whether, whether you're a kid or adult, anyone can learn parkour because that's what we do. Yep, they're all amazing. Oh yeah. They're all High five, talented. Jet. Oh they're yeah. All, Woo, they're all nice talented. one. Yep, everybody's talented. So, whatever age you are, you can always get better. Exactly. 
keep practicing and thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what tutorial you want to see next. Be sure to hit that bell. I wanted to thank Optimally Organic for sponsoring this video and for sending me some of their supplements to try out. I have the Fulvic Ionic Minerals and the Raw Earth Immune Response. The Fulvic Ionic Minerals has over 77 trace minerals and essential amino acids. The trace minerals extracted from the ground where huge kelp fields existed 40 million years ago when there was an ocean in the middle of the USA. Eventually that ocean dried up and turned into a rainforest. That's where they are dug up, dried out, and drip distilled water through it. The end result being plant-based minerals from a time that the earth was pristine. Fulvic acid is a transport system that helps nourish the cells in your body. Fulvic and humic acids will break the bonds of inorganic matter, heavy metals, and alkalize your body faster than any health product as the salt acids that build up on the cell membrane are broken down. Our body can't produce them alone and are essential for health and can improve energy, mental clarity, and just a sense of well-being. Perform better and get better results from your training. Check out Optimally Organic by clicking on the link in the description below.